my spring 2020 list. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your style godfather, guys. And this is one of my favorite lists to do. I love the fall and I love the spring. And today I'm going to talk about the fragrances that if I were still in the office, that I would wear, that I would rock, that I would wear, that I would come and just dominate the entire space. Here's the thing. Springtime is all about fresh, bright, clean, everything else, but I want to wear something that no one else is wearing. No disrespect to Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, all that stuff. I want to rock something that's completely off the beaten path. Let's get into this list. First, from MLK, Maison Francis Kirk John, we have Lumineer Noir. This is my rose entry. Guys, this is one of the most sophisticated rose fragrances that a guy can wear. I guarantee you this, you wear this during the daytime, you will stop traffic. This stuff is in freaking credible. All of these fragrances deserve their own review, but I want to put together a killer list that you can rock and wear during the springtime and not smell like anyone else. Luminaire Noir starts my list off right. Shout out to the CIA. One love, FBI. If you want to become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. Next up from Armand Jane, we have Armand Man. This is an incredible green fragrance. This stuff is signature scent worthy, guys. I love this juice. If you don't have it, you want to get your hands on it because it just smells like class, masculine class in a bottle. Armand Jane, Armand Man, fantastic spring daytime fragrance. Office, outside, indoors, anywhere. This stuff is amazing. All right, next on the list from Bond number no. nine, Shea Bond. If you love Green Irish Tweed, you will love this stuff. I like this better than Green Irish Tweed because I like the tea kind of dry down. Green Irish Tweed is a spring staple for many people, but seriously, this is what I always rock and wear in the springtime. This is my fourth bottle. Trust me, guys. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Your godfather wouldn't lead you wrong. Shabon is a game changer. A game changer of a fragrance, and it is strong enough, potent enough to where you spray in the morning, and you won't even have to refill until the evening. It is that good, and it lasts that long. And no spring list would be complete without an incredible sandalwood fragrance, and this one from East Saint Laurent, 24 Rouge something something or other. This is from their private or exclusive line. I've talked about this. I like this as much or more than Killian Sacred Wood. And seeing as though that masterpiece has been discontinued, it would be smart to get your hands on this one. A fantastic, sophisticated sandalwood, incredible fragrance for the daytime, signature scent worthy. You will not be disappointed. Next on the list from the House of Frederick Mall, we have French Lover or Bois de Rage. Guys, if you like Creed Spice and Wood, you will love this. I like this even better than Spice and Wood because it's not as spicy and far more woody. It's, again, signature scent worthy, guys, trust me. Frederick Mall is a house that I wish more of you guys would look into. This is one of those standouts that's just hard to have anyone say any bad things about. Baudrillard, French Lover, both the same fragrance, great for the springtime. Next up from the house of Dior, we have another Bois, Bois de Erjean. Yes, Bois de Erjean is my spring Dior fragrance for the daytime. This is an incredible fragrance and I love the iris note in here. Iris is one of my favorite notes and it's a great note, especially during the springtime, but I love the minimalistic way this iris plays on my skin, especially when I go outdoors and it catches the wind. When it's probably about 70 degrees, 70 to 80 degrees, a little sunny outside, slight breeze, this stuff is incredible. Trust your godfather. Christian Dior, Bois de Ergent, springtime must have. Next, from the house of Chanel, we have none other than Chanel Jersey. Yes, Jersey. This is one that you guys need to look at. This is a great greener fragrance for the daytime. Chanel Lace Exclusives makes some incredible fragrances that I think do well on men's skin. And Jersey is one that, especially during the springtime, guys, I love to wear this stuff. There's just something about this fragrance, the way it comes out, the way it plays on my skin. And then because I'll be in the office or around a bunch of people during the daytime, ah, oh, so, so good. I have yet to wear this fragrance and I'd have somebody ask me, what are you wearing? Chanel jersey. Chanel, you did this one right. 
No list will be complete without the master Tom Ford. And what do we have? Fucking fabulous. Fucking fabulous is a fucking fabulous fragrance. Check the list up here where I said seven fucking fabulous fragrances. Well, I got to admit, guys, when I first smelled and tested it, I was not as sold on it. But as I started to wear it, as I started to get more into it, the magic started happening. Fucking Fabulous is a great fragrance, especially for this time of year. And the even better thing is it comes with a full suite of body products. You can layer your fragrance and wear one all spring long. Tom Ford, Fucking Fabulous, incredible fragrance for my spring niche list. Guys, do me a favor, hit me up and down in the comment section. Let me know, what would you be wearing during the daytime or in the office this spring? Inquiring minds would like to know. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. And next up on the list, guys, we have none other than Tom Ford, fucking fabulous. Fucking fabulous, guys, I've already talked about how much I dig this fragrance. Check the link up here and you'll see how I talked about seven fucking fabulous fragrances. This one is fabulous all year round, but especially during the day, especially during the daytime in the spring, especially during this, especially during the daytime, especially during spring days, especially during spring days. There you go.